Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Immersive English Speaking Practice Session. Today, we have an exciting three-part exercise that will not only sharpen your listening skills, but also boost your speaking confidence. Part 1. English Listening Practice with Conversations Part 2. English Speaking Practice by Answering Questions Part 3. English Speaking Practice with a Shadowing Method Get ready to dive into English conversations between native speakers. Tackle some easy questions and master the art of shadowing. This video is designed for you to watch repeatedly over the next few days. So let's embark on this language learning journey together. Without further ado, let's jump into part one. Part one, listening to the conversation. In part one, you will eavesdrop on a daily English conversation between native speakers. Try to focus on the meaning of the conversation when you listen to it. Don't worry if you miss a word or two. The goal is to immerse yourself in the language. After the conversation, we'll move on to part two, where you'll actively participate by answering some easy questions out loud. Are you ready? Let's begin. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel is an idiomatic expression that means to give up or surrender, especially in the face of difficulties or challenges. In everyday language, it is used to convey the idea of quitting or abandoning a task or goal due to perceived difficulty or frustration. Hi, Tom. How's your job search going? Hey, Linda. It's been tough. I've sent out so many resumes, but no callbacks yet. Don't throw in the towel, Tom. Job hunting can be challenging, but something will come up. I'm just getting frustrated. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Nonsense, everyone faces setbacks. You just need to stay positive and keep trying. Maybe we can review your resume together. That would be helpful. I'm not sure what's going wrong. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Highlight your skills and experiences. And remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. Thanks, Linda. I appreciate the support. I'll give it another shot before throwing in the towel. That's the spirit, Tom. I believe in you, and we'll work on this together. Part 2. Answering Questions Great job on part one. Now, in part two, it's your time to shine. Answer a series of easy questions out loud related to the conversation you just heard. Don't be shy. Speaking out loud is key to improving your English fluency. Feel free to pause and rewind as needed. Answer the questions out loud. Hi, Tom. How's your job search going? Hey, Linda. It's been tough. I've sent out so many resumes, but no callbacks yet. Did Linda ask Tom about his job search? Yes, she did. She asked Tom about his job search. Is Tom currently employed in a job? No, he's not. Tom is in the process of job hunting. Don't throw in the towel, Tom. 
Job hunting can be challenging, but something will come up. I'm just getting frustrated. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Nonsense. Everyone faces setbacks. You just need to stay positive and keep trying. Is Tom finding the job search easy? No, he's not. Tom finds the job search tough. What did Tom find tough about the job search? Getting callbacks. He found it tough to get callbacks. Did Lisa suggest that Tom give up on finding a job? No, she didn't. Linda encouraged Tom not to give up. What did she say to Tom to not give up? She said, don't throw in the towel. Is Tom feeling frustrated with the job search process? Yes, he is. Tom mentioned feeling frustrated. Is Tom confident about finding a job soon? No, he's not confident. Tom is feeling frustrated about the process. Maybe we can review your resume together. That would be helpful. I'm not sure what's going wrong. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Highlight your skills and experiences. Did Lisa offer to review Tom's resume with him? Yes, she did. Linda offered to review Tom's resume. Why did Linda offer to review Tom's resume? To help him figure out what might be going wrong. And remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. Thanks, Linda. I appreciate the support. I'll give it another shot before throwing in the towel. That's the spirit, Tom. I believe in you, and we'll work on this together. Did Linda tell Tom that setbacks are normal in job hunting? Yes, she did. Linda mentioned that setbacks are normal. Why did Linda mention setbacks in job hunting? Because she wanted to reassure Tom that setbacks are normal. Did Linda say everyone faces setbacks in their careers? Yes, she did. Linda mentioned that everyone faces setbacks. Did Linda offer to work on Tom's job search together? Yes, she did. Linda offered her support in working on the job search. Is Tom open to receiving help with his resume? Yes, he is. Tom expressed that reviewing the resume would be helpful. Is Tom determined to continue job hunting despite the challenges? Yes, he is. Tom expressed the willingness to give it another shot. Repeat this exercise until you say the answers fluently and confidently. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend and if you want.